what's up beauty welcome back into my channel in today makeup tutorial i decided to play one more time with jacqueline hill eyeshadow palette and you guys this is the most easy makeup tutorial that i did in my entire life you guys will be able to enjoy it every step that i recreate with this makeup you guys will be so happy it's so easy to recreate it is so pretty this is the eyeshadow palette that i grabbed and I did only use this two shade right here, which is Perfection and Comfort Zone. So with only two shades, you can recreate this beautiful eye makeup look. All right, guys. So if you want to see how I recreate this makeup look, stay tuned and keep on watching. Mwah. guys so i'm going to be doing this two color right here because the makeup that i'm going to do today is going to be something soft that you only can throw up lashes and then go ahead i want to do a makeup that is easy and fast for you so that way you don't have to worry that much to blend the eyeshadow it's going to be a simple eye look so i'm going to start with this eyeshadow color right here which is perfectioning and then I'm going to move on to Comfort Sun. All right, so this makeup that I'm doing today is something soft that we can wear every day and we can go faster and we can recreate those days that you don't have the chance to apply eyeshadow and be blending all day night long, all right? And I do like to start from the end of the eye and then go all the way up. And swiping motion. Go back again and grab imperfection in, fly it in the corner, and then making sure that I'm grabbing all the way over here. Grabbing in the corner and then go all the way up. All right, my honeys, I hope you guys can see how easy it is this eyeshadow. So make sure you grab more product and then at the end of the eye, go ahead and grab it and apply there and then make sure you go all the way up. All right, guys, so if you want to see also how I did create my brows, I'm going to leave the link over here or over here so that ways you guys can see my eyebrow tutorial all right so moving on into comfort zone which is the deeper shade right here so this is the shade that i apply this is perfection and this is comfort zone comfort zone is a little bit more warm and deeper this one is more a peach undertone like i said in the corner and all the way up. This is a look of two color eyeshadow. All right guys, so the lashes that I'm going to be using today are Body B Lashes in Style Extra. I mean, look at the packaging. Look how beautiful it is. And I do like that when you try to close it, it just like, All right, guys, so you see how simple and easy it is just to mix two eyeshadow color. You can do the color that you prefer the most. You can do a brown, you can do a more burgundy, you can do a more peachy, you can do a more orange or more red undertone or purple. It's depending on what you like, but it's easy for you if you are in a rush and you just want to add two eyeshadow and then go. You probably already know that this is my favorite serum for my skin. I do enjoy to use this serum and primer because it does help my skin to be more hydrated. It does help with typing and firming. I do enjoy to use this serum because it lifts and tight my skin. I do like to apply it a little bit under my eyes. And the reason why is because I want my under eye feel hydrated and also feel more tight. I don't want to do, I don't want to look too tired or I don't want my fine lines and wrinkles show up that much. 
and I do recommend this serum 100%. Even though I apply the serum, I still hydrate my skin because I do like when my skin feel hydrating and moisturizer. I'm going to be using Kill Moisturizer. This one is my all-time favorite moisturizer. This is a 24 moisturizer. The only benefit that it has is to hydrate your skin. It keep the water on your skin. It keep your skin hydrated. So you want that on your skin. But if you want to apply a different moisturizer, you can go ahead and do it. I do like to use this one in the daytime because that way my skin doesn't get too greasy through the day you can use any other moisturizer that you want target into your skin like most of the time people like to apply moisturizer that help the skin to get brightener that help their skin to give no more fine lines and wrinkles or prevent all of that so you can apply any other moisturizer i do like to use this one on the daily basis and especially daytime because I want my skin to feel hydrated through the day, especially that it is winter and you know, in winter your skin get too dry. All right guys, moving on into my primer. The primer that I do like and I love to use, you guys already know, this is my all time favorite primer. This is Smashbox Blur and Prime Primer. And I do enjoy this primer because it does help to smooth my skin and my skin look amazing you guys already know how pretty my skin looks like when i'm using this primer and i do like to apply in those areas that i know that my foundation crease a little bit more all right guys moving on into foundation you guys already know that i actually look in love with this foundation the reason why all right guys so i do recommend this foundation even though on um, people with 45, 50 and above, my mom, she is 52 years old and my mom makeup always looks so dry. It looks like she don't spend time applying moisturizer, anything like that. And I did try this foundation on her and let me tell you guys, her makeup never looked so good before. She enjoyed this foundation so much. She even buy it for her because the foundation looks so good on her and it doesn't look so dry even she used this foundation as a concealer because we notice every time she uses any concealer it does crease so much under her eyes even though that she applied any moisturizer she does have a ton of moisturizer even though high-end brands really good even dermatology moisturizer and her skin still looking dry and she likes to apply foundation because her skin look so even when she apply foundation and when she used this foundation she was like oh my god she was like happy and i feel it's because of the connection of these two products together i feel like they are bomb.com all right so if you only can have one product from these two i suggest you first try this one and mix it with your normal moisturizer make sure you apply this one first make sure you shake it before you use it and then put your normal moisturizer and then your foundation now if you want to get a better result and a better formula try to use this two together try to apply this one first then your moisturizer and then your regular primer the one that you like the best and then the foundation all right beauty so for my contour i'm going to be doing huda beauty tour. this is in shade light i did prefer the shade light because it's not too warm it's not too orange it's just like in between and i'm not too dark i'm in the middle i'm more like a warm light undertone like a medium light undertone that's my shade and that's how i compare my skin tone i'm going in the forehead you guys can see that it is a little bit deeper than my skin tone but it won't look too orange or too gray so that's the reason why i picked this shade right here i do enjoy to use this brush to blend my contour All right guys, so after I did my contour, I'm going to be grabbing CoverGirl Concealer. This is in shade 
and 500 the reason why I do like to apply this one first and I do use two different shades because I do like to cover my under eye first and then I do like to bright my under eye with the shade lighter which is M900 M900 is a little bit more light more neutral this one is a bit more yellow undertone so that's the reason why I do like to enjoy to use two different shades all right guys so grabbing one more time M900 just to bright my under eye area a little bit more because like I said I don't want my under eye area too dark you guys already know all right guys so i did apply my setting powder now i'm going back with my all-time favorite you guys already know this is my all-time favorite setting powder for my foundation all right guys so for contour i'm going to be using nc47 from mac as well to contour my face i did use this brush to set the foundation and i'm going to grab this other brush which is a little bit more flat compared to this one this one is a little bit more fluffy and around this one is more angle and flat these are from Jacqueline Hills collection and I do enjoy my contour a little bit more deeper and warm undertone because I do like my skin look warm all right guys so moving on into blush this is the Kylie Jenner this is Batty on the blush blush and i do enjoy it because it's a peach undertone and i feel on my skin tongue it looks pretty good and it doesn't look too intense but make sure you apply a little bit because this blush is very pigmented with the same brush that i did use to remove my under eye powder i'm going to be using the same brush to do my highlight you guys already know my all-time favorite highlighter which is gisbet of guilt from mac you guys already know that's my thing that's the one that i do enjoy and i feel like it's the best for my skin all right guys so for my lip combo i decide to get this two right here which are affordable drugstore lipstick and lip liner this is the wet and wild coloring coal eyeliner i do enjoy to use this one as a lip liner and this is maybelline super stay in shade 55 driver if you don't have this one i do recommend that you get this one it's affordable it's $8.99 if you purchase on the website but if it's it is ten dollars 99 cents if you go into walgreens or any other place like pharmacy or all right, this is a berry brown lip liner. I do recommend a more warm undertone lip liner, but I do like the combination that I get when I use this two cucumber together. All right, so using driver, it is a more nude undertone. This is a peachy nude undertone. Alright guys, I did enjoy this makeup tutorial today. I It was so fun to me. I did enjoy the lip combo. Oh my god, the lip combo is a cheap nude lip combo. You guys can find this at a drugstore or Walmart or even Ulta. Alright guys, I do recommend that go to their website which is Maybelline.com and try to get this lipstick because on the website I believe it's $8.99. But if you go like drugstore or every any other place, or any other place it will be like around ten dollars but this is so beautiful the lip liner is a wet and wild eyeliner i feel like you can find that on the hair supply or dollar store or dollar general for like 199 it is cheaper so you can find that lip liner to recreate the same lip that i have all right guys I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you are new, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. Please help me out to get a thousand subscriber. That's my goal at the moment. I just want to get all the way to 1,000 subscribe. Please, if you have a friend, a family member, please let them know so that way they can subscribe into my channel as well and they can learn so many different techniques please 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 help me out with that i will be doing pretty soon a giveaway 
and I'm just grabbing all the products that I want to do for the giveaway because I want to do a giveaway for my 1000 subscriber. Make sure you are letting your friends and family members that subscribe into my channel because as much people are subscribing into my channel because of you you get a chance to win the giveaway so make sure you are telling your friends your family your cousin everybody tell them that subscribe into my channel so that way you get more 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 chance and let me know on the comment section that you are referred the family member that you did refer so that way i know that you did it and that way you can get more chance to win the giveaway and i will be doing the giveaway probably all right guys so probably i will be doing the giveaway the middle of november so i will be showing you guys what i'm going to be giving away to you but make sure you are telling your friends and family that subscribe into my channel so that way you get more chance to win make sure you comment down below who are the person that are subscribing into my channel and then let me know that you refer them that you are the person that is bringing more people into my channel so that way so that way i can write it down into my notes and that way you can get more chance to win all right guys so make sure you be safe i see you on my next video bye bye see you soon